is Travis from TLBT, Train to Be Trained, here to <sighs> serve up another street three-piece snack. Yes, I know that was a little corny. No worries, because I'm going to redeem myself with a cool, calm, and collected street people who happens to be me. Jamila. Jamila, how are you doing? I'm well. Okay, so you're going to have to help me redeem myself, because I'm usually a cool cucumber, but as you see, that was immensely corny. You have to ask? Oh, so you agree? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with great power comes great responsibility, and you're going to be our TOBT personalized superhero. Okay. Good? Yes. All right. So if I was to ask you to um, name something that you have incorporated into your diet that you consume on a pretty regular basis that you would need healthy, what, what, could you, what could you do with that? It would have to be spinach. Spinach? Yes. Lord. <laughs> ah, okay, spinach. Mm -hmm. Um... How often do you eat spinach? I try to eat it every day. I'm low in iron and it's good for you. Spinach is one of those superfoods that we should all be trying to include as part of our healthy diets. What spinach is most commonly known for is that it's a rich source of iron. But spinach is also rich in folate. And to speak about folate first, it's important for increasing red blood cell protection in our bodies, which can make oxygen more available when our bodies need it most, which can help increase exercise endurance. And why iron is important is because what we know is that one of the most important symptoms of iron deficiency is increased fatigue, which can impair your progress towards achieving your fitness goals. My nutritional tip for you is to get the most nutritional benefit out of your spinach is to consume it with a source of vitamin C. This will help you increase absorption. An example of this could be a spinach salad with red peppers or a smoothies made with some orange juice and spinach mixed in. Whichever you choose, try to make spinach a part of your next meal. Okay, um, okay, see, someone like me, spinach is impossible, and I definitely can't eat it by itself. Okay. So, is there something you do to kind of, you know, flare it up, you know, kind of mix it up a little bit? Well, Just... I do it, I eat it like two different ways. So, I'd either eat it raw, put okay. it in a salad, or cook it up and put it in more like a stir fry. Oh, okay, so I can do stir fry. See, when you have it kind of immersed in something else, I can see, yeah, you're like disguising it. Okay, that works for me. Okay. <laughs> so, um, spinach is, I think, a great, a, something that's great to have in your diet. Um, now, in terms of keeping active, what's something, an activity that you engage in that kind of keeps you moving? It's something that you do on a daily basis. It would just have to be walking. Um... <laughs> Why? Well, uh, I mean, like, uh, do you designate time to walk or something you do recreationally, or is it just, you know, in your regimen? Like, when, like um, how do you walk? It's pretty much in my routine, okay. and I try to take the stairs more often. So instead of taking the elevator, I take two flights of stairs. Where, like at a school? Or? At school, yeah. Oh, okay, that works. I didn't take that with any chance I get. <laughs> <laughs> Climbing stairs. Excellent activity with lots of benefits. It gets you moving, gets the heart rate up, burns calories, all good things. But if you're using it as a workout, be careful because it can be difficult on the joints. How do you know? Well, if you did a stair climbing workout and next morning you wake up and your muscles are sore, excellent. But if you wake up the next morning and you feel it in the joints, not good. It means some of your mechanics are off and it means that you probably should see a professional to get that taken care of. And this is something to think about. Um, and certainly last but not least, let's say you know, you've know uh, you prepared uh, your spinach and some stir fry the night before mm -hmm. and you're walking around school with it. Um, for some reason, you know, you're just not having the best of day. Maybe you didn't do well on the exam. Uh, someone stole your multi class album. Like, what's something you do to kind of just get you in a, in a, in a good, in a good positive mental place? It has to be listening to music. Listen to music. Yes. Okay. Narrow it down for me. That's kind of that's kind of generic, generic, general. Like, uh, give me a genre. Army. Okay. Give me an artist you feel like right now. Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys. Yes. Ah, this girl is not funny. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I never said I was a singer, so don't hold it against me. All right, there you have it. Jamila's nutritional tip was that she likes to eat spinach. Um, she either eats it raw by itself in a salad or she'll cook it up in a stir fry, which I think is a great idea for those who can't really stomach the taste. Um, her activity, her strength tip was that she likes to walk. It's something that's already embedded into her, her kind of daily routine. So she'll take two flights of stairs and tend to the elevator when she's at um, school to get to her office. And certainly last but not least is her motivational tip, which is music. Listen to music, you know, calm yourself down. Uh, she's like Alicia Keys right now, which personally is my favorite, probably for different reasons. I like to look at her. <laughs> um, and there you have it. That's you know our street keep Jamila who did a great job, and this is your street keep snacks. snack. So get your snack on. And as always, TLBT is keeping you on that road to goodness by bringing awareness for your 
Pappe findest. Und wünsche dir einen Gänse. Mm-hmm.